Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the connected device platform service service has terminated and there is an event ID error code 7023 and it will be an unspecified error, of course. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle and we're going to go jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the start menu type in services best result should say services here which you probably were already under or you might already have it up on your screen because that's probably why you were searching for this video but anyway we're going to go ahead and just open that up now you want to locate the network connection broker service so go ahead and scroll down go ahead and double click on that make sure startup type change it to automatic and if server status is stopped, you want to change it to start. But you can see it's running, so we don't have to do that. And then we're going to select apply and OK. Now you want to go scroll down again here, and you want to select the remote procedure call service. So go ahead and double click on that. Again, startup type, make sure it's automatic and server status is running. Select apply and OK. And then finally, there should be a TCP slash IP protocol driver. You can see in my case it just says Net BIOS Helper. If we can go ahead and double click on that, again, we're going to go set it to automatic, make sure it's running, apply and OK. It may say just TCP slash IP protocol driver in your case, so just keep that in mind. One further thing you can try here, if you close it here, open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you're going to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now, exactly how it appears on my screen. So again, SFC, space, forward slash scan now. Hit enter the keyboard to begin the scan. We'll take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so you can see it did not find anything, which is good. So you would go ahead and restart your computer at this point, and then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.